This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So let's talk about the six photos you absolutely need to take during groom prep. If you saw my last video on the eight photos to take during bride prep, which you can check out right up above, we went through all the crucial photos you should be taking when your bride is prepping for their wedding day. And now we're gonna do the same thing for the groom. The getting ready section of a wedding day or prep is extremely important and probably one of the more harder parts of a wedding day. Not only are you managing them getting their clothes on, but you have to be taking great photos of it as well. I also really wanted to do this video for all the second photographers out there, as generally what will happen is that the main photographer would send you to take groom prep photos and you're just kind of left on your own. If you're new to wedding photography or being a second photographer, this video is definitely gonna help you out. So let's go ahead and talk about the six photos you should definitely be taking during groom prep. Starting out with the flat lay. Just like we do with the bride, we're gonna be taking a flat lay of the groom's details. Sometimes the groom flat lay photo can be a little hard to pull off, mainly because stereotypically, guys don't care as much about their dress. So they're pretty much just like, I, I'm putting a suit on, whatever. And you're like, hey, do you have details? Uh, um, whatever. So the first tip there is make sure that you're actually talking to your couple before the wedding and telling them what type of details you want from them. So for the groom, I'll usually ask for shoes, tie, socks, if they're special socks, if they're just plain, forget the socks, cuff links, a cool cologne if they have something, a nice watch if they have one, anything of that sort. Make sure you're talking to them before the wedding so that they'll have this stuff for you. And also for a hot tip, if the groom does have special socks, please remind him not to put them on before you take your flat lay photo because there's nothing worse than having a photo of socks that have been on someone's feet and they don't look crisp and nice anymore. They're all like worn and warm and sweaty. <laughs> But for your flat lay shot, one thing I definitely do is I make sure to do the rings with the bride's flat lay. So for the groom, it's mainly just going to be his details, shoes, tie, belt, cufflinks, so on and so forth. Sometimes also I like to add something in there to give it a more manly feel or something of that sort. So if your groom likes a good whiskey or there's one in the room, Throw it in with the flat lay. It really doesn't look too bad and it kind of adds to the whole vibe of like, yeah, I'm a man. <laughs> Next up, you wanna make sure you're getting photos of the groom putting on his suit. Basically, when I show up to start doing the prep photos for the groom, I let them know that basically I only need them with their pants on and their shirt on and have the shirt buttoned up, not even all the way. After that, we'll start putting on the pieces of his suit and then also his suit jacket. Generally for this, I'm gonna side light my groom and set him by a window somewhere in the room. And another hot tip is make sure that if the lights are on in the room and they're casting an ugly tungsten color to turn them off. You will have enough light as long as there's a window that's kicking off some good light. And since we're talking about putting on the suit, the next photos you should take is the groom putting on all of his details. This is gonna include stuff like the tie, the cuff links, his watch, and also the suit jacket, which we were talking about before. So again, put your groom right by a window to his left or his right. Make sure the background is clean behind him and you have an absolutely amazing shot. One thing that's fun to do as well is have someone help him put on his details. So if he's having a hard time with the cufflinks, have the best man or his dad come in and help him out. With these photos, we wanna just take our time, have him put the stuff on slowly, and don't rush anything. I usually will take my wide shots with my 23 F2 and then switch over to my 35 F2 for any close-ups. This way I can stay positioned where I am and still get wide shots and close-up shots. And if you wanna see that in action, don't forget to check out my full wedding day videos, which you can check out right up above. Moving right along, don't forget to take photos of him putting his shoes on. Generally, everyone will wanna put their shoes on before they actually start getting dressed, so they'll put on their shirt, pants, and then shoes. Tell your grooms not to do that because you wanna take some photos of them putting their shoes on. Again, this is pretty much just a nice photo to have to fit the mood of the whole I'm getting ready before my wedding day. For these, have him sit down in a chair and shoot fairly wide. I'll usually put on my 16 F 2.8 at that point and take these photos. And again, the 35 F 2 is handling any close-ups. If he has slip-ons or loafers, just tell him to take his time or have him do it multiple times so you can get enough photos. 
And real quick, let's not forget to talk about this video sponsor, Squarespace. As a wedding photographer, having a website is the most important thing you can do for your business. And without a website, you don't look like a legitimate wedding photographer. People are spending big money and you wanna look legit. And you can do that with Squarespace. Squarespace is an online platform that will help you quickly and easily build your online website and online presence. They have beautiful templates that you can use to build your website and easily just add your portfolio to it and have a great website for your clients to find. On top of the templates, you have analytics, commerce, great customer service, and so much more. Make sure to check out the link below in the description for 10% off of your first website or domain. Now that we've gotten our groom's shoes on, we start focusing on the bigger picture, which is gonna be him and his groomsmen. This will be a shot of either groomsmen gifts or a groomsmen toast. Now the first and obvious thing about a groomsmen toast or gifts is to make sure that all the groomsmen are dressed. Again, stereotypically guys are quick to be like, I don't feel like wearing a suit. So all the guys will just be like sloppy trying to do stuff. Make sure you get this photo and make sure you command the room to say, hey, let's all get dressed hey, let's go ahead and do a toast. When I do groomsmen gifts or toast, what I'll do is have them stand in a semicircle in front of me, somewhere close to a window so I'm getting nice natural light. When they do their toast or their gifts, don't have them stop and pose like, yeah, we're doing a toast. Don't, don't do that. Have them really do a toast. Add to the wedding day. Again, I've talked about it before. Great moments don't just happen. Sometimes you have to direct them a little bit and I'll link that video right up above but basically, you know, direct them into the moment and then let them have it for real. Sometimes what will happen during the toast is they weren't planning on doing it and then they'll all get in their feels. So definitely make sure to direct your groomsmen for these shots, have them stand in a nice semicircle and then just kind of take the photos from there. Obviously you're gonna be shooting wide because there's gonna be a group of guys. Also use a closer lens again, like my 35 F2 to get any close-ups of anything that are happening or anyone's expressions. And last but not least, one of the photos you always wanna take is the groom gift and or note. So I talked about this in the bride prep video, but basically if the bride and groom write notes to each other, have a moment where they sit down and read it to themselves. If you're a videographer, you already know you like to record this, you want the audio, you want their emotions, but photos should do the same thing. Have them sit down somewhere, make everyone else leave the room and be quiet and let them have this moment especially for the guys, because guys don't like to show their emotion too often. So have all the groomsmen leave so that they can actually privately get into their feels. Again, for this, place them by a window where it's gonna look nice, have them sit down and read their note. They don't have to read it out loud for you because you're doing photo, you don't capture any audio, but just sit there and wait for the moments to happen. These are always great shots. This also goes for the groomsmen gift if the bride has given him a gift. So these are the six shots you need to be taking at every groom prep section of your wedding day. If you're a wedding photographer already, let me know if you have any other ideas of photos you can be taking down in the comments below. Again, let's share as much information for new and starting wedding photographers as we can to help them get started and to help them not just take random photos while prep is happening. That's one thing I have a huge pet peeve against and if you'd like me to make a video about that, don't forget to hit that like. If I have enough likes, I will rant <laughs> forever about how I hate how most photographers during the prep will just let people get dressed wherever and have mess everywhere and just try and use a long lens and blow out the background so it looks fine, no offense to anybody. <laughs> Again, thank you for hanging out on the channel and I hope this was helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe for more wedding photography and I will check you out next time. All right, peace. Thank you.